Hey, what's up, you guys? This is a requested video from DK Reptiman, and I'm going to do it over my leopard geckos. So, pretty much, this is their setup. Um, I have excavator for the substrate, and just a corner water bowl for them to drink out of. Um, I have this awesome hide from herbsrock.com. Uh, I made it, and it's, they really like it a lot. Um, they usually just climb on it a lot. Um, I have two heat pads in the back. Um, one of them is an Exoterra uh, heat wave medium size. And then the other one is, uh, I think, a Zoomed heat pad uh, for small aquariums. I'm not really sure, but that keeps it where they want it. And I um, also have an extra heat light right there. It's just a 60 watt bulb. Um, and it provides some extra heat if they want to go lie down under it. Um, over here is their kind of litter box. And that's where they usually poop the most. And that's the cool thing about leopard geckos is that they are kind of potty trained, and they just kind of poop in one area. But the bad part is, they poop a lot. Um, <laughs> but that's the setup, pretty much. Um, this is just a regular light fixture. Nothing too special. No UV. Um, these guys don't need any UV lighting. Some people say they do, but if you give them a... Um, supplement than they don't. Uh, so right there the one that's walking is my uh, Eclipse. I rescued it from a pet store and she has a regrown tail at the end and she is probably the most calm. Uh, she did have metabolic bone disease. All of them did except for the temper albino which I will get to in a second. Uh, but I Gave her lots of calcium, and she's back to normal. Um, then I have uh, my bell albino back there. And um, I also got her from a pet store. Um, she had metabolic bone disease, so I calciumed her, and she's back to normal now. Um, she is a little bit jumpy. Uh, she just shed, so she's pretty brightly colored right now uh, nothing too special about her um, my bell I mean temper albino male uh, is one that I uh, he's one of my favorites uh, just because I got him from a breeder and there's nothing wrong with him uh, but he never had metabolic bone disease or anything like that and, uh, pretty much, yeah, he's just chilling. And then the other two are Super Hypo Tangerine Carrot Tails. Also got them from a pet store, rescued them. And, um, they had metabolic bone disease very bad. Uh, so I had to, um, extra, like, give extra supplements to them because they just couldn't walk but now they're back to normal um, they do have the scars like not really scars but you can tell that they had metabolic bone disease um, just because their legs aren't like properly um, in the right positions kinda uh, they just walk weird um, but they're they're pretty spiffy I don't know if anyone says that anymore but I call them spiffy. Uh, yeah, they're they're pretty cool. Uh, so that was my update on the leopard geckos. Uh, Hope you liked it. They are on a diet of um, mealworms, crickets, and dubia roaches. Um, but I'm trying to breed my dubia roaches, so um, they haven't had some in a while. But they go after anything that moves. <laughs> uh, 
So, um, don't forget, you can buy these hides at herpsrock.com and buy them because they're awesome. Yeah.